So the three things uh, I would suggest uh, for a one year MBA aspirant uh, would be number one, you need to have a complete understanding of the domain you work for or the industry in general. My name is Jacob, I'm from Hyderabad. I completed my graduation in the year of 2019 and I have worked in two of the well-known digital marketing firms. I have work experience of close to 32 months. Uh, I love playing cricket in my free time. So since I already had a set number of years of work experience, I didn't feel the need of you know going through the fundamentals of management program again. And that is the reason why I chose a one-year program. And of course, it provides me a greater uh, acceleration in my career and also the opportunity cost involved in a one-year program is less than a two-year program. Before I joined Soil, I spoke to a lot of seniors and I spoke to people who already had the work experience. And I wanted to understand and be very sure if that one-year program would give me any sort of an advantage. And when I did that research, one thing I got to know is that time is one of the important factors and the roles which are offered in a two-year program and one-year program is kind of similar as well. And I wanted to take advantage of the work experience I had. And like I really mentioned, time was one of the important factors. So once I was very sure that I wanted to get into a one-year program, uh, I was looking for options I have. And uh, I had options like Great Lakes, Chennai, uh, Soil, and a few more other colleges. And one thing uh, I wanted to understand from my seniors is the program I wanted to get into, which is marketing, if that is suitable for Soil. And the feedback I got is that the Soil is really better uh, for marketing as compared to other B-schools around which offer one-year program. So for any MBA student, uh, there are three important factors one would consider. Uh, one would be the academics, uh, the practical exposure he would get in the college and also the career path. How? As far as the learning is concerned, both uh, one year and two year program have the same learning. The difference is the pace. So in a two year program, uh, like compared to a one year program, the subjects you have, like in a one year program, you might have around 10 to 12 subjects in a term as compared to a two year program where you might have five to six subjects. Also, one different thing is that in a one year program, you must be able to choose your cohort and after first term. Uh, but compare that to a two-year program where you'll have the liberty to choose that after one year, the entire year is done. So that is the major difference. One of the important factors in an MBA journey uh, for a student is the faculty uh, from whom uh, he learns from. And in Soil, we have faculty who have great understanding of the industry and they have experience. Uh, in classroom, there's not only uh, you know theoretical understanding of any concept, but also the practical implementation and how a student after he leaves the college and goes to the industry, he can actually implement those practical understanding of concepts. Imagine that you're studying a case study on Dabur, uh, B2B sales. Uh, and now think of someone who's teaching, uh, who has that work experience and who has worked in Dabur actually. The uh, experience the person shares with you is altogether completely different as compared to your theoretical learning. So in Soil, uh, they don't just teach us about how to make profits, but also at the same time, how can we contribute? How can we understand about people and how can we contribute to the planet? I would like to talk about the social innovation program we have in, in our college and I get to work as an, a research assistant in Soil where I work for three NGOs. Uh, I would like to mention one of the NGOs there where I uh, you know, was part of the tree plantation drive and also we went to slums and where we spoke about the mental health awareness. So at the end of the day, uh, we get an opportunity and I feel that we are actually blessed that we get to you know, work for these people and actually learn from them. So in Soil, uh, in the first term, one advantage you have is that you get to understand about all the industries in general and there are no specifics you will look into. So with that, uh, you gain the fundamentals of all the industries and what's happening around you. right? What is really important is that how you basically work, work on those fundamentals and you move forward. Like how do you make sure that you are aware of the current trends of that particular industry. Now in order to do that, you have internal and external mentors over here who will actually make you understand how can you do that. And when you actually get to the placements, the companies are actually looking for your knowledge about the industries. So this will eventually help you out in throughout the journey of your placements. So in my job interview, once the shortlisting came, the first round was very basic, where they tried to gauge us on our profile, uh, our basic understanding of technology and the job description which we applied for. Uh, once I cleared my first round, in the second round, it was more grilling about the technology about the digital transformation which was required for that particular job profile and luckily in soil there is a lot of emphasis given on digital transformation and technology which are pure subjects which we'll be learning here as well so that really helped me in my interview this is very essential because most of the job roles which have come in soil and also in the market will require you to have a basic understanding of technology and that uh, was very essential for my uh, job interview as well so the three things uh, i would suggest uh, for a one-year mba aspirant 
uh, would be number one, you need to have a complete understanding of the domain you work for or the industry in general, which is which becomes very essential uh, when you join a one year program because the time is very limited. So number two, what is the specialization you're getting into? You need to have a very clear understanding of that because the time over here is very limited. So after the first term is done, immediately you'll be choosing your main specialization. So you need to have a clarity on that. The third thing is that if you are someone who's looking to switch domain, if you want to get a complete understanding of the business in general, that is pretty much possible if you join a MBA college which offers a one year program.